You can see the sunset in the windows. Because it's right there. Whoa. It's pretty. We are heading to buy a phone signal booster because we are going on day 11 or 12 without any signal on our phones. And uh, CBA, I want my phone signal, so we're going to buy a booster. Update, we're in the parking lot of Best Buy and we're going home empty handed. Huh? So we're looking forward to nights 11 and 12 without service. Thank you very much. So we showed up to our boondocking site in Wisconsin and got everything set up, met Cheryl who showed us to our spot, everything like that. The next morning, yesterday, Saturday, took Bjorn out and he went and met the host's dogs and that lead, like when the dogs meet, the humans meet and the humans talk to each other and Jeff is the, um, I guess this is also his property, like him and Cheryl are married, but he is an RV tech. So he showed us his trailer and what he just got. And then he came out to see our trailer and then he started fixing things on our trailer. Like our, let's see. So our knob here was falling off and the screen door only had one uh, screw in it fixed. All the locks have been lubricated. All the joints have been lubricated. We messed up our emergency brake pull a while ago, but he helped us. I don't know if you can see it. So he helped us zip tie them together because we just had it taped and kind of galley wonked, but it's much more secure now, even though it looks like it's still taped together. It's got zip ties and it's folded over and just like much more of a professional job. He gave us this hook and then he even climbed on our roof and he had an open bottle of the roof sealant or not the roof sealant but the uh, Proflex black stuff which is what our camper uses in like the corners here and on three of the four corners he sealed up and showed us how to do it ourselves as well. So he taught us how to fish, if you will, when it comes to RV and camper care. We still, he did give us homework and an assignment. We have to seal the, um, we have to go over some of these spots. You can see where it's cracking a little bit here. So we have both the sealant product that he sold us. And then we now have the know-how and how to do it. Uh, so that's, I mean, you can't put a price on education. So we are tremendously, tremendously grateful to Jeff and Cheryl. Jeff truly spent like five hours with us. Um, he gave us all sorts of ideas on, um, well, beyond like basic education on how to maintain our camper. He also gave us <laughs> huge information like the fact that we were get really struggling for finding a TV signal even though we have an antenna and he said well did you press the booster button? Day 83 y'all and we have TV. We went from four channels that were spotty and not really loading and those really like oddball obscure channels we pressed a button, found a button, pressed it. We have 48 channels with an antenna. Are you kidding? Day 83, you guys. We're still figuring it out. Ernst is so frustrated, but I think it was kind of like a, you know, we had to live through 83 days. On day 30, we had our first fire. On day 83, we have our first TV antenna booster situation. Um, so Liverpool and Man United are playing right now and we're watching that game because we have the channel to do so. It's insane. Uh, what else did he teach us? Um, 
Oh, we've got a bunch of projects. Well, I have a bunch of projects for Thanksgiving week because Ernst will be in Norway. Uh, but I'm going to get with my dad and then some of my godfathers and we're just going to get this whole, the inside situated and updated and everything else. But let me go show you real quick one other hack that he showed us that we were just like, <sighs> hang on. Okay, so we're in the bathroom now. And one thing on the project list is to update that to a max air fan. Um, but one of our problems is that our towels haven't been drying all the way when they're on the hooks and stuff. So he suggested we go to Walmart and get a tension rod, which was a whole $6.50. We have some hangers. We got a hanger at Walmart too. And hang our towels this way. So in addition to that hanging our towel space, we can also use it for hanging our hang to dries. We have a big old rack for hang to dries after laundry days, which is fabulous for outside and beach towels and stuff like that. But bringing it into this space has been really awful. Like there's just no good place to put it where it's not in the way. But now we can use just hangers and clips and hang it from this tension rod that we got for $6.50. Smarter, not harder, you guys. Smarter, not harder. Before we head out and pack up, we want to give a big thanks to Jeff and Cheryl, who are our Boondocker hosts. Obviously, Ernest is distracted by the game he's now able to watch, but huge, huge thank you to Jeff and Cheryl. We appreciate you guys, and Truly life-changing. I mean, we got projects. We know how to do maintenance now. Like, great, great, like, education. Fabulous. So it's raining. It's cold. We came in from um, north of Milwaukee today. We got set up. We made a cozy dinner, everything like that. We took beer on a walk, and Warren and Jan are here. They were pulling in as we were walking across the office, and they are the people that we met in Door County. Who would have thought? Small world. Yeah, it was totally. Yeah, just rain. Yeah, it was totally random. Um, we were literally just walking in front of the office, and I just pulled up, and we were like, Warren? Jim? Hey, uh, people stalking me? What, what's going on? I don't know. We're so, cool people. We're in Madison, Wisconsin. There we Who go. Who wouldn't want to be here? First day in Madison, Wisconsin. They've got a bunch of county parks. So we're just walking along one. We just saw a buck cross over here. So we're gonna see in this clearing if he's in the cornfield or in the field or whatever it is. Do you see it, Ernst? Spy, whoever can screenshot and find it. Just kidding, I don't see it. But if you really find it, let me know. While we are here in Madison, Wisconsin, we are visiting a friend named Jessie. And I'm sure you guys will see her in the video soon. She just moved here a couple weeks ago. So we're gonna explore her town and then report back while she works of what she should look forward to. Uh, yeah, I guess this is our last stop in Wisconsin, and then we start the slow southeast trek for uh, the end of November for Thanksgiving. So, homebound soon and warmer weather, but we definitely had to break out the winter coats for Wisconsin, because it is cold! It was like flurrying a little bit when we were setting up yesterday, but that's why we packed it. All right, we are in uh, Madison, Wisconsin. Here to visit Jesse. Had a nice relaxing morning. Uh, did a walk with Sarah, did some yoga. So now we're gonna go city. And uh, later tonight, we're gonna have some drinks with Jesse. 
How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. It's about two, oh, it's almost three o'clock and we're just now leaving the camper for the day, but it's been a great, great morning. Just kind of yeah, it's been relaxing. filling our cup. Yeah. Did a walk in yoga and all that, showered both of us, got a good cleaning, so. Yeah, and it's just been nice. Sarah made some guacamole that we thought we were going to save, but we ended up eating all of it. Yeah, Ernst ate it much faster than it took me to make it, so that was fun. But we're both showering. You ate it faster. No, I... You were shooting at it. So yeah, here we go. I'm going to explore Madison. Oh yeah, and I also shaved again, so... Gotta cut my mustache, don't worry. Skin, when the mustache is over the lips, I bite it. And you don't want to bite your mustache, so I'll have to trim that later today. But yeah, stay tuned. This is Wisconsin Stadium. And here, like Aggie football, and this is where you go if you're a little too uh, excited about stuff, apparently. Fred House. How to be young and in college in America. <laughs> I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure this campus takes up the entire geographical area that Lillison is. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so we'll check the stats and get back to you as far this as how many students go here. Wisconsin University. Where, University of Wisconsin. Where uh, the Badgers are. Mm -hmm. and they're a pretty okay football team. And I guess the left here is some kind of practice facility. There is the stadium, which is Yeah, it's cool though. Very cool. So one of the cool things about Madison, Wisconsin is there's multiple, multiple lakes, one of which is right on the university. And so that's where we're headed. We're right by the boathouse. And on the multi-purpose trail, it probably connects to the multi-purpose trail at our campground. It's a bit windy today. So this is one of the several lakes. I want to say there's four or five in Madison. And there's dorm buildings right next to it, so that's cool. So we're headed back into campus area, but it's really cool. A lot, there's a lot of physically active people, whether they're running, walking, or biking. Cycling seems to be a big thing in Wisconsin. Cycling, and then what are those little mopeds, moped things? The like not actual motorcycles, but motorized two-wheel vehicles. What you looking at? It's called the University Bay. So we're here by the Red Star, you can't see that, but they have like a beautiful trail system that goes all the way out to the bay, so pretty cool. Pretty cool. Good job, Wisconsin. Darren, what's got you on guard? What is this? What is this? <laughs> you know what he's looking at? This bass. <laughs> <laughs> get him, Bjorn, get him. <laughs> I guess he was truly born and raised yeah. in Columbus, Ohio as a yeah. Buckeye, so. Look at this. Born a Buckeye, I guess. We've encountered another creature. What is it? Socks right there. This is socks. 
crazy lady. Uh, got us a gift. And we don't know what it is, it's so we can wear this costume. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, these are fabulous! Oh, yeah! Are I'll wrap that all day. so good! This is a little different. Oh, my God! <laughs> what is mine? Oh, t shirt is good. I'll take a t shirt. Yeah! Big old W. Winning. Awesome. That's fabulous. Thank you. Yes, thank you. All right, it is day two in Wisconsin. We are now suited out with our Wisconsin Badger gear. Uh, thank you, Jesse. And we are headed over to. Let me see. This. Oops. We're headed over to this cultural site. So it's a heritage site actually. And it was funny because the cars at a auto sales shop on the way here had both American flags and Norwegian flags in them. And then we came down this road and we see this heritage center. So they'll come in, let's go check it out. We're in the cultural center learning about the timeline of Norwegian immigrants to America. And they come up on this display. Uh, we have and use socks that look like that. And we have and use mittens that look like that. What was that like for you, Ernst, to see? There was like bunads on display and like, but it's interesting because in Norway that's still a very active thing, but it's kind of like Americans playing dress up here or it's their... It's yeah. interesting because it's Norwegian immigrants descendants. So there's two or three generations separated from being truly a Norwegian. So what was your thoughts? What were your thoughts? Hold uh. the camera and tell the people. It was weird. I mean, it's just seeing, I knew about all this stuff that happened, right? So it's just seeing what happened when I got to the States. And what he's talking about is like the Norwegian immigrants leaving Norway in search of farmland in the 1800s. I guess this city we're in was very Norwegian. Like they still have like- They have Norwegian flags alternating. Yeah, so it's like, it's still a very much a big thing here, I guess. They have a big old paint that says, well, welcome until Stockton. So welcome means welcome. So still very much a Norwegian presence there, which is pretty cool. But I'm a little disappointed that when we came over, you chose this city. You know, I could have chosen a little cooler city, but you know. Well, the cooler cities on the east coast were already claimed. No, I don't. We came here to farmlands, and we farmed the lands. All right, it's day three in Madison, Wisconsin. We are, we just discovered Ted Lasso, so it's two o'clock. We just finished season one and it has been fabulous to just watch. But because we finished season one, we needed to take a pause and get outside and enjoy the beautiful day. We also have some uh, camper chores that we have to do some maintenance on it and then and just clean up and stuff like that. Jesse is coming over for a fire and pizza tonight so that'll be fun she's also get Ernst and her gonna work out and go on a run and do all that um but yeah last night we had another good time at Jessie's house hanging out she's an excellent cook so congratulations Dan her boyfriend snagged a good person to have a lot of good food with for a while if you haven't seen Ted Lasso you should probably watch it it's on Apple TV great show it's so funny uh, yeah, so we're just going on a walk. Our, oh, going on a walk around our campsite. So there's our camper, and then they have all these multi-purpose trails. But I mean, it's just a beautiful day. All right, so what are we doing? We are sealing some of the areas that don't have seals or have cracking seals. Our guy Jeff in Wisconsin 
the RV tech who we stayed in the yard with um, kind of talked us through what to do. So let's get to caulking. Step number one, push the caulk through the tube. Okay. And then we're supposed to give it a healthy... Oh, this is not going... Maybe we should have started at a inconspicuous... Did you say to push it or to pull it? No, that... You pull on that one. Pull on... <laughs> oh. Just one big thick line. I look so bad. <laughs> so, it'll look better once I rub my finger through it. I hear there's a learning curve to this. And aluminum frames suck because the when you go down the side, it's not even. Okay, so now give me. When you do some soapy water, it's because then it doesn't stick to your fingers. But you can't do more caulking after that until it's dried, so. And you just smooth it out. Look at how good this looks. It's like butter. Oh, that does not look bad, Ernst. It's not look good. <laughs> it looks like very sealed. So that's good. That's what we're going for, right? It's a very sealed window. That's fine. <laughs> Maybe we should have started on the back. Oh, I need a paper towel. Help. A little bit better. I always was most improved. Still not as good, huh? <laughs> what is this? This is a great <laughs> Go show them your work over there because I didn't show them while you were. So this is Sarah's work. The first one. This is, you see how all over that is. Got on the black and everything. And you see your boy. Smooth you line. See me do it. Look at this. Cha, 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 cha. Oof, looks so good. It's because you saw me do it the first time. What, what, who is that? Look at that hair. <laughs> Okay. From the utility side of the camper, probably where we should have started with this. This is the old cock that used to, or had the cracks in it that indicated what that we needed to start doing this. And then our windows don't even have cock over them at all. So check out the sun's out, guns out in late October. This is to prevent water coming in the windows. Because the worst thing for an RV is sun and water. So to combat, you gotta put uh, what's it called? Sealant. Sealant. Proflex. <sighs> like butter. That was a really good one, hun.
Hi, I'm Jesse. I am Ernst and Sarah's friend. I was a student athlete with Ernst at Liberty, and he's a great friend. I, they just visited me in Wisconsin. I moved here about three weeks ago, and my rosebud and thorn. So my rosebud is definitely just having friends visit me. Honestly, it was a super big highlight to have them visit me. Um, my Sorry, that was my rose. And then my bud is what I'm looking forward to. And what I'm looking forward to is my boyfriend will move to Madison, Wisconsin soon. So that's what I'm really looking forward to. And my thorn is, I think my foot is broken. So. <laughs> that's pretty thorny. <laughs> that's it. Here's a Wisconsin sticker. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Safe. Oh, so nice here. It's just your legs that are not very comfy. Can you move these guys? Can you just move these guys somewhere else? Oh, were you sleeping so much from before we got here? I bet you were. Mm. What? <laughs> you leave me alone. Why are you filming? He's my baby boy. He is, a, he is the baby boy, but look at how cutesy he is. He is cutesy cozy and literally taking up half the bed. <laughs> like, it's probably not going to last. It normally doesn't, but it's cold.